Hi. Uh, did you get lost? Most of our customers don't have clothes with designer labels. Uh, hello. Uh, the Gramps in? I'm just returning some movies. Oh, jeez. Okay, and um, these movies, I'm assuming they make you transcend for roughly 45 minutes to four hours? Yeah. Gramps! Your alarmingly sexy drug dealer is here! Not to objectify you or anything. But what the hell, Libby? Just because you dress like a woman breaking parole doesn't mean you have to act like one. Amen. Hey, Gramps. Always so good to see you and to experience your excellent taste in cinema. Uh, you know, I'm just returning a few movies. I think uh, you might want to watch these if you know what I mean. Oh, yes. The movies. Oh, I would love to watch some movies. You two know weed is legal, right? How are you in business? And why don't you just go across the street and buy it at the pot shop? It's cheap and easy, and the lady at my pot shop always throws in a free painting of her cat. Sweetie, there are three people that you stay loyal to your entire life. Your barber, your butcher, and your dealer. BBD! I think it just stinks that generations and generations of young people are never going to know what it's like to get your weed from a dealer. Now, not to mention the trials and tribulations of finding a good one. Kids these days, huh? Mm. Oh, speaking of good, I have a little gift for you. No, 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 no. Now be careful with this because it packs a punch and I am not talking like picnic punch. I'm talking about mess up your whole life punch. Olivia, oh, you are getting a gift from the Willy Wonka of Kush. Oh, so this little gummy is the golden ticket? Is it also going to save my grandparents from living in poverty? No! Oh, Libby, what have you done? This is what legal weed has done to your generation. No respect for the drug. Uh, I mean, I tried to tell her, so I guess it's up to her. Oh, hey, Max, let's go to the track and um, bet on some horses. Mm-hmm. I love betting on the ponies. Uh, let us know how the gummy treats you. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck! Homophobe. Gotta stop judging people so much. Am I attracted to Satan? I guess Gramps was right all along. You just found her like this? Yeah. And I don't know if I should be jealous of her or scared of her. Hey, Libby, it's me. How do you know my name, Fidel? Is it true you're Justin Trudeau's real dad? If so, you have a very charming son, but I don't trust him. No, Libby, it's it's Jesus. Jesus? Don't you mean Jesus? Oh my god. Whoa, sorry to take your name in vain. 
I'm sorry I left the church. I, I, I just got really tired of drinking those small cups of grape juice. I mean, why couldn't they just have real wine at communion? If God made the world, couldn't he afford some Merlot? Sis, what did you take? I need some for the next time I go to the aquarium. Are you going to the aquarium without me? <laughs> oh, hey you two. How was date night? Oh, it was fantastic. <laughs> Although now, you can't stop thinking about Fat Pratt riding a dinosaur. Dude, I know, so good, right? You get that one made, we'll be in the audience. I'm still holding out for Kadeem Hardison and those sexy specs. If you get a different world in, call me ASAP. Oh, hey, you must be the new girl. Oh, I definitely feel new. I'm a fresh-born baby, soft and confused and ready to absorb everything. <laughs> I'm sorry, she's high. Yeah, well, well you, you you let us know where she gets her stuff. It, it seems effective. I just love you all so much. I wish I could have you in my stomach and carry you around like the magic school bus. What the hell is going on in this no, video so far? No, let's just get out of here before I turn into an M. Night Shyamalan. Put the movie back. Hey, God bless you.